eighteen hundred hours Pakistan standard time assalamu alaikum this is radio Pakistan the news read by Daman Zaman the headlines the Prime Minister says the war against coronavirus pandemic can only be won through national unity and coordinated efforts of all the stakeholders Speaking at the largest SARS telethon to raise funds for fighting COVID-19, Imran Khan said lockdown has adversely affected the world economy, resulting in, the, in growing poverty across the globe. 69 billion rupees have so far been disbursed to 5.75 million families under the SARS emergency cash program. The President has said online education is the best and easiest way to provide education to students amid the coronavirus pandemic. The Ruhate Hilal Committee meets in Karachi this evening to decide about sighting or otherwise of the Ramzan al-Mubarak moon. Pakistan has expressed deep concern over the discriminatory and anti-Muslim policies and practices of the Rashtriya Savayam Sevak Sang inspired Indian government. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan says the war against coronavirus pandemic can only be won through national unity and coordinated efforts of all the stakeholders concerned. He was speaking at the largest SRS telethon being simultaneously telecast by Pakistan television and private television channels for raising funds to fight COVID-19. He said the Pakistan Tehreek and Saab government announced massive historic relief package for the poor families with an objective to reduce the miseries of the masses amid a lockdown imposed to contain the spread of coronavirus. Terming the SRS cash emergency program as transparent and merit-based, he said cash assistance for 12,000 rupees is being distributed among 5, 5.437 million beneficiaries across the country. He said the government allocated 144 billion rupees for the poor segments of the society under the SRS cash emergency program. Imran Khan said the entire world is struggling against coronavirus, which has emerged as the major global issue. He said the lockdown adversely affected the world economy, resulting in growing poverty across the globe, especially in the developing countries like Pakistan. The Punjab Chief Minister Sardar Usman Khan Bustar called on Prime Minister Imran Khan in Islamabad today. During the meeting, the Chief Minister briefed the Prime Minister on the provincial government's measures to contain cor coronavirus implementation of precautionary measures at the construction industries, elimination of hoarding and provision of relief to the masses during the holy month of Ramadan. 69 billion rupees have so far been dispersed to 5.75 million families under the SRS emergency cash program. This was stated by the Special Assistant to the Prime Minister on Poverty Alleviation and Social Protection, Dr. Sania Nishtar, at a news conference in Islamabad today. She said cash assistance of 12,000 rupees each is being given to the deserving families under this program. She said these families have been selected in the most transparent manner after scrutinizing the data. The special assistant said an alternative mechanism will shortly be introduced for those who are facing thumb impression problem. She said a ration distribution portal has been activated to connect the philanthropists with the deserving families. The President, Dr. Arif Alvi, has said online education is the best and easiest way to provide education to the students amid coronavirus pandemic. He made the remarks during his visit to Teleschool Project in Islamabad today. The President termed as impressive and important the Teleschool Project launched to enable the students get education at homes in the current lockdown situation. He said the online education enables the students to review and revisit the lecture which is not possible in the lectures given by teachers in a classroom. 
The Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi has said efforts are afoot to bring back the stranded Pakistanis in the Gulf states at the earliest. In a statement today, he said screening is being done at the airports and quarantine facilities have also been expanded there. The Foreign Minister said the opening of remaining airports has enhanced our capacity to bring back 6,000 to 7,000 Pakistanis from abroad every week. Shah Mahmood Qureshi said the coronavirus has badly affected the economy of the world. He said this pandemic will also increase pressure on Pakistan's economy as it has brought the economic activity to a standstill and also reduced our exports. The Governor Punjab Chaudhry Mohammed Sarwar says the government is helping the deserving people with a relief package of 144 billion rupees under the SRS program. He was addressing a ceremony in connection with the Saudi Relief Fund for 20,000 families in Islamabad today. He said people are donating to the Prime Minister's Relief Fund generously. The Governor urged the people to stay at home and adopt preventive measures for their safety from coronavirus. This is Radio Pakistan. The Central Ruwati Halal Committee is meeting in Karachi today to decide about sighting or otherwise of the Ramzanul Mubarak Moon 1441 Hijri. The chairman of the committee, Mufti Munibur Rahman, will preside over the meeting. Pakistan has expressed deep concern over the discriminatory and anti-Muslim policies and practices of the Rashtriya Savayam Sevak Sang inspired Indian government. At the weekly news briefing in Islamabad today, the Foreign Office spokesperson Aisha Farooqi regretted that these policies persist regardless of the challenge posed by COVID-19 pandemic. She pointed out that a systematic campaign is unfortunately underway in India to demonize Muslims who face increased exclusion as well as threat of mob violence. The spokesperson said the Organization of Islamic Countries has also voiced deep concern over rising anti-Muslim sentiments and Islamophobia within the political and media circles as well as the social media platforms where the Indian Muslim minority is being blamed for the spread of coronavirus. Referring to the Indian atrocities in occupied Jammu and Kashmir, the spokesperson reminded that it is an internationally disputed territory and killing of people, use of brute force and blocking communication links constitutes violation of international laws. Aisha Farooqi said Pakistan is concerned over the increasing persecution of journalists in the occupied territory on baseless and concocted charges. In occupied Kashmir, people took to the streets in Shupanya today to press for handover of the bodies of four youths martyred by the Indian troops in the district yesterday. The occupation authorities, as part of their new inhuman and callous policy, took the bodies of the youth and buried them in the army-run graveyard in Ganthbal area of Gandharbal district without funeral and religious rites. The youths were martyred by the troops during a cordon and search operation in Malhura Zenapura area of Shupanya district. China has announced to donate another $30 million in addition to the previous donation of $20 million to the World Health Organization to help in the global fight against coronavirus pandemic. China's Foreign Ministry spokesman Sheng Shuang told a regular press briefing in Beijing today that the donation will help strengthen the developing country's health systems. The move comes days after the United States announced to freeze funding for the World Health Organization, accusing it of mismanaging the COVID-19 crisis. The United Arab Emirates says it is looking into reopening its massive shopping malls a month after they were closed as part of measures to curb the spread of coronavirus. The official WAM news agency reported that the health ministry and crisis authorities have requested a study into the possibility of reopening commercial centers with their private sector partners while taking into consideration health requirements. The World Book and Copyrights Day is being observed today. The purpose of the day is to highlight the importance of reading. The city of Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia has been selected the World Book capital for this year. And finally, the weather. Mainly hot and dry weather is likely to prevail in most parts of the country during the next 24 hours. However, rain with wind and thunderstorm is expected in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa and the plain areas of the Punjab. 
And that is the end of this news bulletin. For more news and analyses, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk. And you can also watch the live video streaming of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com forward slash Radio Pakistan News Official.